us should just be joining us again. Yes, indeed. If you just joined us, you're live on TikTok. Welcome, YouTubers. A dinky do. Now, uh, what have we got here? Elise says, thank you, La Angela. Another hour. Oh, my God. Two hours more, says Jerry. Jerry, I don't know that the audience can stand it. We shall see, though. Six thumbs up for another hour, says Elise. Wow. Well done, Elise. Hey, thank you. And we send love to Elise. Can everybody send love to Elise, please? And to Elise's Aunt Kate, whose birthday it is, I say to you. Right, people, you can phone in now, says David. Absolutely, David. Good one. Can you say stay fabulous, says Reese? Uh, Tiki Tiki McClure, one more hour. Right, I'll do it this once. You'd better support me. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Now, who have we got here? Uh, there we are. Everybody's sending love to Elise. Uh, Graham says, do you know Hector Brocklebank, Scotty? Is he no sell fash in the north of Scotland? Is he no free the Broch? Hello from the Granite City Loon. Fit like Loon. Chan Chan's back. Guys, you guys are amazing on the old uh, the old Tiki Talkie and the YouTube channel. Now, if you're on YouTube right now, have you all subscribed? Lots to talk about, so little time to do it in. Uh, we're having an extra hour tonight just to see what happens. Uh, Reese can phone back. Yes, yes, he can, David. Absolutely. And uh, that's what You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? <laughs> there we are. The wee ones having a laugh. No harm to them. But they love that. I can't tell you. And uh, there we are. I don't mind that. The silly ones, less so. But that was quite good. We don't mind that. So dinky do. I say to you. Now, who have we got here? Busy time now. You're live with Scotty's phone end, is that? Thank you too, Scotty. It's Kareem. How are we? Kareem, how are you, lad? Dinky you do. You do realise we've gone into second hour. Absolutely, Scotty. I thought I, I've been asleep and I've got up and I thought, oh, damn, I've missed Scotty. And then it came on. I thought, amazing, excellent. So there we are. <laughs> so we just, that was Elise and everybody shouting, let's do another hour. So we'll do it this once. But I forgot my drink of water, but at least we'll get a tune on the squeeze box. Because as yes. you know, Kareem, I can only do an hour of TikTok if I want to download it, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, absolutely. So but that's oh, it. Listen, Give the people what they want. Well, give the people what... Karim, I can't believe you've said that. I can remember mm -hmm. being in a very senior media meeting, and a lot mm -hmm. of them were things like accountants and salespeople, and, you know, they didn't know a lot about the on-air thing. And they said, mm -hmm. what's your philosophy, Scotty? You're obviously very successful at what you do. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, thank mm -hmm. you for that. I said, I'll take that. But my philosophy is give the people what they want and they will reward you with their viewership or listenership. Yeah. And it's yeah. true. I think the problem at the moment is all the radio stations are copying each other, not really listening to what the people want. The people don't have a choice. And I know why they're copying each other, because if one's successful, they think the rest will, but they forget that all that's mm -hmm. happening is the market is getting very fragmented, so they're going to keep getting a smaller bit of the cake, and they'll end up just mm -hmm. having crumbs from the table. Whereas in the old yeah. days, they had the whole cake, because yeah. 1973, when I call it the old days, 1973, user 485, Liam, is giving me hundreds and hundreds of red roses tonight. Fantastic. Absolutely Wonderful fantastic. person. What a lovely thing to do. He's just sent me another 142. Ah. Michelle says, I thought it was finished your live. It was, Michelle, but I got told to stay on for another hour. <laughs> well, Scott, I was shopping earlier on. There was two things here. The first thing, I was shopping earlier on, and I bumped into... I, I won't name the supermarket, but no. I, when I was a student, good I used man, to work man. there. Brilliant. And 
a security guard, as an older gentleman knows you because you used to show up there. Uh-huh. And he said, oh, are you, do you still speak to Scotty McLaurin? I said, yes. He's on every Saturday night. He's, he's got his, uh, uh, his YouTube channel and he's got his TikTok. And, oh, that's fantastic. You know, and, you know, he, he spoke very highly of you. Oh, spoke gosh. very highly of you. What a nice thing to say. Heaven's above. <laughs> yes. So it was really nice. And we were talking about how how things have changed in the society, but how radio is always there and how the people, but the funny thing, give the people what they want. They will always talk yes. and, and you've always been there throughout the, you know, the years speaking to so many people. And something uh, touched on me, like, I, I, I don't know if you'll be able to remember this, Scotty, but he said one of your, to- your, your, your phonemes uh, and he said, you know, he spoke to so many people and there was always this one call that I remembered, and Scotty was so professional at handling it. And I said, right, well, what was the call? And he said that this person phoned up and was on a downer and said, I don't have long left to live. And I don't know if you remember that at all, Scotty, but, you know, that I mean, that's the hard part of your job as well, having to, you know, eh, come across people that are in that situation and how do you make them feel better? Well, it's very difficult. I do remember the call and that of, uh, you know, people at the end of life saying, I, I doubt we'll speak again, Scotty, which is heartbreaking yeah. for everyone, heartbreaking for them, but heartbreaking for... And sometimes I would get a wee letter from a relative saying, um, Scotty, you made his life so bearable at the end, or yeah. Scotty... Do you remember talking to so and so and you helped him out? Sadly, he took his life last week, or things like that, which was very, very harrowing and very harrowing, not just for the person and for the family, but for all the listeners. Uh, you know, and so we tried to save as many lives. And I can remember being on national radio as a guest. <laughs> Uh, BBC National Radio as a guest, and there was a journalist there who was determined to um, catch me out, to expose me as some kind of charlatan on the radio that only cared about audiences and not people. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, well, I feel, he said, I mean, you have no support network. You're not a professional counsellor. You don't know about a lot of conditions, which I actually do, but I didn't tell him that. And he said, yeah. uh, you know, how can you do this? And I said, I think what I do is very noble. He went, oh, I don't think I'd use the word noble. I said, well, no, but I would. I said, yeah. and I said, we have the support of all the audience, many, many, many skilled people listening who can phone in. I said, mm-hmm. we are an open line show. And uh, I said, and if we've saved one life, then that warrants me doing it. But I know that we've saved many. Well, when I got out, he was actually quite a nice guy in the flesh. And he said, he called me, he said, you so-and-so. I said, no, 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 you asked for that. I said, Mm -hmm. because, I said, one life. I said, we have saved many lives with phone-ins. And people don't realise that. They go, oh, Scotty McLean, is he not just some kind of idiot that fools about? I can't see him getting an audience. And you think, this guy's got the biggest audience of any talk show ever. No, no. Um, But I find that's the thing, Scotty, when you've said that you've had it in the nail as well for these people. I mean, the listeners just now, so many people will not be in that situation and wouldn't know and don't know and wouldn't know how to react if it was sprung upon them. And for you to make them feel better on those final weeks, days, and even hours just listening to people talking and you know, they forget, I would imagine they would forget their condition because they're just you know, they feel they're part of the conversation and they're, they're they're learning things, they're having a laugh and you know, it's it's a very honourable but and a very it's, it's a nice thing. It's a very human That is human very, thing. very kind of you to say, Karim, because you obviously get it. I wish you were the controller of a national radio station or television <laughs> station. 
because you get it. And, um, and I think people have just...